I just got off the phone with a young lady called Joanna who went through a pretty traumatic breakup where things were said that shouldn't have been said and it was just a really, really bad breakup. So I directly um, wanted to go into the studio and do a video to help other people out there who go through a really traumatic breakup or separation and still want to salvage their relationship. Still wants the, to those people who still want to save what they had. My name is Adrian. I am a relationship expert from the website withmyexagain.com and my partner Alex and I specialize in helping people get back with the one they love no matter how or when things ended. So if you, like Joanna, went through a pretty traumatic breakup where it was really violent verbally and you said things that you shouldn't have said, I urge you to take a step back and to really take this, the, the time and distance you need to regain your composure. The goal is not to communicate with your ex quickly and try to apologize. If you yourself haven't done what you needed to do on your side to kind of let the emotions come down. So the first thing you need to do is take a step back and really try to understand how things got to this point. So before I go any further, I must tell you that I don't always adhere or help people get back with their ex. If I feel like it is, this, it is detrimental to you or if I feel like it's not in your best interest and that being, going back to, into that relationship is not going to be something that will make you happier, I will tell you so. And in the cases where an ex may have abused you, I will, I will probably turn you down altogether because I want happiness and love. That's what we do, helping people find happiness and love. So that said, um, if you just had a, just a big argument and you said mean things and your ex said mean things and you want to make things right, yes, I can help you, especially if that's the one. So after you've taken a step back and you've let the tension go down, I want you to own up to whatever it is that you, are, you did wrong. I want you to own up to your part of responsibility, not only in the breakup per se, but also throughout the relationship. Please take the time to analyze all the things that went wrong in your relationship. To, to really jot down on a piece of paper or on your computer every tension or argument that you may have had. Start with the m most important ones and then I invite you to go all the way down to your, your list and to even list the ones that are the most trivial. Once you've done so, I really urge you to think about the role that you've played in making those conflicts surface and what you could have done better to make things right. Once you've done that, the next best step after you really have taken the time to let time pass is to send a quick note to your ex to ask for forgiveness and just to say that you've understood where you went wrong. This can be done either via text message or through a handwritten letter that I could help you write. A handwritten letter is the perfect way to give your ex space and distance after a breakup while at the same time pass along a very personal and pertinent message. Once you've done that, your ex will, in essence, put their guards down. And it'll be easier for you to reestablish a positive dialogue. Once the positive dialogue has been reestablished, you're going to need to start to prove your change through direct concrete actions aimed at your ex, aimed at showing your ex that you're a new person. At the same time, you're really going to need to focus on you to improve and to really change and evolve. If you get back into your relationship being the same person, doing the same things, you're going to end up in the same place. And that's not a, what I want for you. I want happiness and love. And in order to be happy and love, you really need to do what it is that you need to do on your side to become that person that you were at the beginning of your relationship compassionate, independent, assertive, if need be. And it's by becoming that person again and proving to your ex that you've evolved 
and that you guys can have conversation and spend time together without engaging in conflict, without it being negative, that you will ultimately overcome all the negativity and make them want to be with you again. This is Adrian, relationship expert from the website withmyexagain.com and I invite you to go check us out for more information.